Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making lemon ricotta sugar cookies. Oh my gosh, these taste just like pound cake with lemon glaze. They are so good. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with our dry ingredients. I'm just gonna add my all-purpose flour into a large bowl. I'm gonna add in my baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Go ahead and pour that right on in there. These cookies are so easy to make, which is why I like them. They're great for bake sales, you guys. They are always best sellers at um, bake sales here. Okay, now just whisk that up with your little whisk there. Get it all combined, and then we're gonna set this mixture aside. And then we're gonna work on our wet mixture. I have some melted, but well, softened butter. Go ahead and add your softened butter to a bowl. And now we're gonna add the ricotta cheese. Go ahead and plop that in there. It won't taste like ricotta cheese at all. Just there for the moisture, okay? So don't be scared. Then we're gonna add in sugar, lots of sugar, because these are sugar cookies, you know? Okay, and next I'm going to go ahead and mix this up and get everything creamy and combined. Yummy. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my egg. Now I'm gonna add in some fresh lemon juice. Followed by some lemon zest. Make sure you use fresh lemon juice, okay? Not the little bottle kind. And don't forget, you guys, you can find this recipe on my blog, divasandcook.com, with a ton of other recipes, so go check that out. And it's going to mix this all up. Okay, just like that. And then I'm just going to combine the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients a little bit at a time. Using my rubber spatula here makes it a lot easier than using that mixer. Okay, and just mix that up. And stir it up into a nice dough form, just like that. And if you're enjoying this recipe, you guys, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment. I love reading your comments, and it really helps me out a lot, okay? Great. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of yellow food coloring. You don't have to do this, but I like for the, I like for it to be a little bit darker, okay? So add it in just a tiny bit of yellow food coloring. You can totally skip that part if you want to. Then we're going to refrigerate this dough until it's nice and firm. All right, and when it's ready to go, go ahead and get your little mini ice cream scoop and pop it onto a grease baking sheet or like you can like line your baking sheet with parchment paper if you like. This dough is so sticky, so make sure you keep it in the fridge. All right, then we're gonna bake this at 375 for about six to seven minutes. And when it comes out of the oven, you wanna let it rest in the pan for about two minutes, okay? And then go ahead and let it cool off. And while they are cooling off, we're gonna make that yummy glaze. The glaze, is it makes the cookie, so don't skip this part, okay? All right, I have my powdered sugar in a medium-sized bowl. I'm gonna add some fresh lemon zest. Then we're gonna add fresh lemon juice by the teaspoon just until I get the desired consistency that I want, a little bit at a time, okay? And the consistency should be like, like a glue almost, okay? I love how you can see those bits of lemon zest in there. It's so pretty. All right, now I'm gonna um, add my glaze into this little piping bag, okay? And then I'm gonna pipe them right onto the cool cookies. You can do any design you want, but I just did a little, you know, zigzag thing or whatever. But that's pretty much it. These cookies are so divine. Even though the dough is like a pain to work with because it's so sticky. I hate the dough, but the cookies, y'all, look how moist and chewy that is, okay? So don't be tempted to put more flour in that dough, okay? There's the bottom, nice and golden. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Bye.